quiet. I'm hunting snowmen. <laughs> here back again with Chip Lord Tuttle. Say hi. Hi. Wow, you took a long time on that one. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot they could hear me again. Oh, okay. It's okay. I, I, I Minecraft waved at them. Ah, okay. Well, yeah. So today, we figured, I figured that we would work together on a little something that I found. I already told uh, I already told Chip Lord about this, but uh, yeah, so at this moment, oh, at this moment, we are over the location of a blizzard. Now, what a blizzard is, is a snowman that, spa a snow golem that spawns during the Christmas season. Now, of course, you might be wondering, Zendor, it it's been months since Christmas. Well, these things don't these things don't despawn. So there's a blizzard somewhere down there, just waiting for us. And we're gonna kill it. Oh yeah. That. Uh, oh, you fell down into the water down there. Yep. Okay. Let's see. Coming down with you. Sweet. That was a beautiful dive. Excellent form. <laughs> Why, thank and you. And you didn't die. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, this water uh, fall goes down a little spiral that I made that goes down into uh, the mine shaft. And then down further into the mine shaft, you will go <laughs> into the uh, fall into the little uh, rift, so. I found it. Already. I I kind of just started digging and it was there. No, Why? I don't mean the snowman, I mean the rift. Oh, the rift. Okay. Sorry, you're talking about it, I thought that was clear. Well, I was talking about it, but we're hunting for the snowman, so when you said you found it, I thought you were talking <laughs> about the snowman. I will I... admit that would have been hilarious. <laughs> The last time we were out snowman hunting, he had been looking around for days and days. He made this elaborate drill. Oh, he did yeah. a really good job, made a giant hole, and then I just started going up cave systems, and I found him. Yeah, I, I just got very lucky. It wasn't skill or anything. I was really upset about that. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I also set this up for in case we find any ores that we need to want to smelt or uh, items we need to craft. So Sweet. So yeah, I've got uh, three stone pickaxes at the moment, but we have an abundance of wood and stone around us, so we'll be able to make an un almost unlimited amount of... Oh, enemy. <laughs> Not anymore. You got an ender pearl, or...? Yep. Sweet. So, uh... <clears throat> how should we start this? Well, um, alright, this is... The original points or coordinates are 2020 by negative 300, roughly, which means we'll work around a radius of this. I'll start going this way, and I'll start working uh, counterclockwise, let's say. Okay, I'll do the same thing. I'll start working the other way and work counterclockwise. Sweet. He's dead. I'm just thinking of a Wizard of Oz reference because I just killed a creeper and said, He's dead! So, yeah, I'll probably uh, have to cut out parts of this recording so that uh, 
it isn't too long. I mean, yeah, this might be a very, very long little quest. Yeah. Actually, you know what, viewers, I, in, I think what I'll do is uh, cut back in when either something interesting happens or we find the blizzard. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. Oh, hold on one second, just oh. to give them an update. Oh, uh, okay. Um, from where I am right now, uh, it says I'm two chunks away. What about you? Uh, hang on, let me, uh, get... No, that was the wrong button, uh... Well, has it given you another, you feel the cold presence message? Well, I, I had F1 press, so I didn't receive a message, so... Oh, gotcha. Yeah. But you you say that you're two two chunks away. Yeah, I seem to be getting colder. Okay. Well, th we were in a zero chunk area, so you might actually be getting warmer. So. Yeah. We'll continue mining and uh, come back in when we find something. See you soon. Okay, guys. So we're back again and. Uh, well, as far as we can tell, the uh, blizzard may very well be underneath this obsidian. So... We just found, <clears throat> well, Jonathan just mentioned that they're fireproof, so there is a chance. We saw some snow tracks up there, and they're very close to this area, but not quite here. However, the thing is, they... Somebody was messing with the water, and we think they might have covered up the tracks leading down here. They might have fallen in the lava, that water came down, covered up the tracks, and um, made obsidian. Yep. We'll see. If it is down here, it's going to take a very long time to get. Oh, yeah. But at least we have an efficient way of digging down. I honestly, oh, I've never thought about uh, using water this way. Oh, I'm gonna pick up the. Oh wait, there's still obsidian underneath that water. Okay. <laughs> so mine away at that obsidian and. Uh, Yeah, then you can remove and replace the water. Yep. Get it flowing properly again. I'm a horrible human being. I just killed an innocent bat. <laughs> Aww. You will never be Batman. <laughs> well, bats aren't even that innocent when it comes to marks. <laughs> Seriously. Bats can be evil okay, go ahead and when move given water. the when given the right rider. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Actually, you want to uh, start off with what you did before? Uh, start over on this yes. end and... Oh, Create okay. a little path um, for the water to follow? One second. I just turned that into cobblestone. Mm -hmm. Like the world doesn't already have enough cobblestone. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I've got uh, three, three, four stacks in my inventory, and almost five. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. oh, it looks like we have a new guy coming in. Crown me Jess. Hmm. So, uh, everyone, uh, just to hey. let, sorry, just to let you guys know, uh, if you ever want to join Empire, there's this little tutorial that they have for everyone that goes through all the different <laughs> custom mobs and bosses that we have, and as well as some detail into events and uh, 
all your different residences and what you can do on them, so. Yeah, all, all the basic rules, all the different dimensions, all that good stuff. And then right once you get done with the tutorial, you'll usually be contacted by a player named Chipler Tuttle who'll try to scam you and take all your new armor, telling you it's useless and paying you a couple thousand rupees for it. I would suggest doing whatever he says. Uh, yeah, you can sell your armor for about 5,000 uh, rupees each. Yeah, don't, don't follow his scam. He, he's a nice guy, but he's also a businessman. <laughs> hey, I pay people pretty well for it. Uh, that you do. But the reason the reason I I've gone after uh, individual players who have just showed up is because most people will immediately use their starter armor. So what I'll do is I'll pay them a couple thousand and I'll make them a whole new set of normal iron armor. Mm -hmm. um, pretty much if you have an untouched set of it. Uh, one thing about the server, they have soulbound items, which means that if you die, it'll stay with you. But it also means you can never repair it. So they're very valuable. And to have an untouched set of any of it is very good. Oh, yeah. Funny. New players don't really get that until after they've used it. Yeah. Funny thing is, uh, I lost my starter armor when I first joined in on this server. Could not figure out where it was. And then one day, I did, after months of already playing on this server, I find my armor in... <laughs> In my inventory on SMP8, <laughs> which is really funny. Yeah, SMP8 is a special one. Uh, I think Empire has 10, 10 11 different servers, uh, and SMP8 is considered the weird one. Whenever you go there, you get a message that says that the Empire Minecraft is not responsible for any random marriages that occur when contacting SMP8. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Also, those people sell. Uh, those people grow and sell sugar cane like it's cocaine. It's really weird the stuff they do with it there. <laughs> I'm not wow. lying. If you ever come to EMC, check out SMP8, and you'll see these massive, bizarre, automatic uh, melon farms and um, sugar cane farms. I've seen some interesting automatic farms, including uh, one with villagers. For uh, carrots and <clears throat> potatoes, I uh, I had never thought of that before, but that actually is a pretty smart idea using villagers to farm. Yeah, that is. You want me to reset the water yet? No, not yet. Okay. After the slayer's done. And as for those watching this, if you're wondering why I'm not helping Chip or Tuttle out right now, I don't it's have any It's because he's diamonds. lazy. What? What'd you say? Oh, I was joking. I just said it was because you're lazy. Well, yeah, I, I was honestly curious because I didn't hear what you said, so... Okay, uh, go ahead and come down. I, it, in case you didn't notice, when you picked up my stuff, I do have extra pickaxes. Oh. Okay, then. Um, yep. Yeah. There we go. Okay, let's uh, breathe and go. <laughs> oh, wait, that was a bad idea. Um, what? I might have just seen something. I'm going to keep digging this way. It could have just been that obsidian burning, but I thought I saw something else burning in there. Guys, this may be the very moment where we find the blizzard. Crown Me Jess has completed the tutorial.
Hmm. You wouldn't happen to have a, a, a fire resistance potion on you, would you? Uh, no, I used uh, my last one against Marnix. Okay, go ahead and um, go ahead and take the water. Uh, need to get my bucket back out. Mm-hmm. Hey. What the heck? You see something? Yeah. No, I thought I did, but it's just obsidian. I thought sure I saw something. Hmm. I'm gonna keep going. Watch out for lava. Yeah. I'm gonna try uh, digging downwards over here. All right. Hmm. How much obsidian do you have right now? Forty-two. Damn. Good. I'm I'm uh, using obsidian on uh, my shop, so. Okay. Well, I guess there was nothing. Let's keep going. Okay. Here comes your water. Okay. Oh, problem is you've got these guys. Here it comes. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Look out. Yes, the, the automatic garbage disposal. <laughs> I like that a lot, actually. As long as you don't throw obsidian away, remember, I'm wanting that. Oh, I, so do I. I sell it. And it's a very valuable commodity. Oh, yeah. Alright, onwards and downwards. Curious as to how in the world that uh, obsid I mean that lava is not turning into obsidian. One second, let me think about this. Well, the water's flowing towards it, but it's not a source block there. I'm not sure. Well, if, even if it's a source block, it would. Oh. What? You. Oh, yeah, you I hurt started, yourself. I started drowning. Yeah, just making sure it wasn't something that was going to start hurting me, too. <laughs> oh, 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 very considerate of you. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Consider yourself the canary in the mine shaft. When you die, I know I've got a problem. <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, in that case, let me just dig out this uh, block right here that's over the water. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, you uh, would have a problem. <laughs> Not as big of one as you might think. Mm. I still have pearls, you know. Oh, that's true. Well. Bats are just so cute. Mmm. Whoa, come look at this. Oh my. Just come down and see it. I, I saw it. Is that, that a flaming entity, perhaps? That's a flaming entity. That's a blizzard. That's a oh. blizzard. Oh, dude. All right. He's uh, right there. We found, we found it. Wow. <sighs> okay, I'm going to... How the hell? Uh, first I'm gonna block off this lava so that it doesn't come on us. And now I'm... 
I mean, flow on us, and then I'm gonna pick <coughs> Sean. No. I'm sorry. I tried not to. I tried so hard. Oh, look, stone. Good. Oh, that might be a good indicator. Yeah, he's right next to the bottom. We might actually have a chance of breaking this guy out. No! Darn it! Oh, sorry. I, I was no, just no, going... No, that was cobblestone time. What? Now that we reach the bottom, we can just replace the lava with cobblestone. Oh, that's true. Problem is, when this guy starts hitting us... I know, but we have to expose him so we can get him and his stuff won't burn up as soon as we kill him. Watch out. Yep, there he is. <laughs> oh, he's pissed. Uh, so... Watch out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm watching out. What about you? I'm trying to uncover the guy. I... Okay, water time. Oh, what? You, you're, you want to suffocate him? No, I want to kill the rest of the lava. Oh. Oh, oh can I have that chicken that uh, you took? Yep. Please. Oh. There you go. Thank you. That really is a cool effect. Mm -hmm. a little campfire on the bottom of the world. <laughs> Alright, so I just put some lava there. What was that on your end? Well, there he is. Oh, I Watch just out. picked up the last yep. lava. You did? No, All never right. mind, not the last, but I just picked up the yeah, lava. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna dump the water on one more time. Watch out. Okay. There we go. Now we can Sweet. now we can kill him. I think. Uh oh. Oh shoot! Don't break another one. Don't worry. I, I was just doing that to. Uh... <laughs> there. Now we've got him exposed. Got him. Beautiful. Oh, slash diff three. I mean diff seven. Um, it's gonna take a few minutes to do that. I just did it. But one second. Oh boy, it's uh. Oh wow. Oh, that was nice. There goes sometimes the it doesn't let you do it. What? Uh, sometimes it doesn't let you do it if you've been in combat recently. Oh. Well, we haven't been in combat in a while. We were just stabbing him with a sword. That's true. Oh, he's still focused on me. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm hurting, I'm hurting, I'm hurting. It's like you, reindeer one. Get away from me. Hey, I'm not a reindeer. <laughs> Alright, are you safe? I, I'm safe behind the shelf. Not anymore! <laughs> I was safe. Oh. It's okay, he's targeting me now. Oh, there we go. He can't get to me. We're good. This isn't one of my... Yeah, this is just my... Uh... Oh, sweet! Oh, there we go. Got stuff. Snowball, uh, snowball. Dragonstone, dragonstone fragments, six of them. Oh, but none of the oh, special no drops. Dang it. Okay, here's stuff. I see, that said he dropped four diamonds. Uh, yeah. Yep. There you go. Thank you. Snow caps, snow blocks, snowball. I was really More hoping, snowballs. 
I was really hoping to I was get hoping an for his nose. or something. We already got those, but I wouldn't mind getting his nose or some other random body oh, part. Oh, yeah. So, uh... Wow. Good thinking about, well, uh, good. good thinking about the possibility that he was down there. I did not even consider that. Or actually, I did well, consider that, Well, neither did I you mentioned that... I, well, I, now that, um... Once you mentioned that he was fireproof, that's what did it. I mean, I'd already noticed that some of his snow trails had been partially removed by water, so somebody's been messing with it to get yeah. obsidian. Yeah. I just did not think that he uh, they would actually... Do you think he spawned up there and fell in the fire <laughs> lava? Well, yeah, because, because one part of the trail, it was like 10 or 15 blocks right above the obsidian here. Hmm. I had to go the long way to get down, but if he had just fallen off, he would have gone right in the lava. What I'm just surprised at is that he doesn't float, but that he doesn't swim out. Yeah. Well, maybe because the uh, these people who made snowmen expected them to die before they could do anything. Yeah, true that. Yeah, fire does do more damage to them than most other mobs. Hi, Creeper. You, uh... You stuck up there? There we go. Now die. Oh, are you taunting a poor, dear, sweet, innocent creeper? Sweet, innocent, poor? <laughs> you and I have di very different opinions on what a creeper is. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well... Uh, well, guys. Escape. Uh, okay. I, I was thinking that we could do the outro now since uh, we just killed the creeper. I mean, killed the uh, blizzard. So we could do the what? The outro. You know, since we pretty much finished what we were here to do. Sounds good. All right. Well, guys, thank you for uh, watching this video. Thank you for uh, watching us kill a lizard. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah. Merry Christmas to y'all, and to all, have a good night.